Are you planning to buy a house soon? If you are, stay tuned. I'm going to tell you 10 questions that you should ask before you purchase your home. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shelly Chan. I'm a realtor with Remax Universal in Diamond Bar, California. If this is your first time here, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. In today's video, I'm going to tell you 10 questions that you should ask before buying a house. Question number one, what are my total costs? When buying a house, there are additional fees to consider other than the sales price. Typically, a house total cost includes property tax, inspection fees, homeowner association fees, homeowner insurance, and ongoing home maintenance. Question number two, what is the reason for selling? It is an important question to ask, as it can help you figure out how motivated they are when negotiating. There are many reasons why people want to move, whether it's due to downsizing, job relocation, or needing more space for a growing family. Your agent can help you find out this information. Because a motivated seller who needs to move quickly or whose house on the market for a while is more likely to work with you than someone who isn't. Question number three, what's included in the sale? A fixture is typically included when purchasing a house. For example, cabinets, window blinds, faucets. Sometimes there are items that you think should be included with the house, but they are not. If you are not sure, have your agent ask what's included in the sale and get it in writing. Question number four. Is the home in the natural hazard zone? A natural hazard zone refers to areas where homes are at higher risk for property damage or destruction by Mother Earth or Mother Nature. For example, earthquake, wildfire, flood plains, and other natural disasters. You want to know ahead of time, not only because it may damage the property, but also because it may require additional insurance coverage. Question number five. How long has the house been on the market? One of the primary reasons why the house stay on the market for a long time is because it's priced too high. The longer the house been on the market, the more motivated the seller will be to make a deal. Therefore, you have more room to negotiate the price. Question number six. How old are the appliances and major systems? Have your agent as a seller how old are the appliances and major systems in the house, such as air conditioner, water heater, washer, dryer, and stove. This can help you anticipate any repair or replacement expenses. Ask the question before you make an offer so you may be able to adjust offer price accordingly. Also, ask the seller buy you one year home warranty. A home warranty will cover many of the home appliances. Question number seven. Were there any major renovations? It's important to ask if there are any major repair or renovations has been done to the house and why they decide to do it. That say there's fresh paint in the living room and you might have seen Hmm, are they trying to cover up the water stain or just remodel for sale? Knowing a home's improvement history can gauge its condition better and understand the asking price. Question number eight. How old is the roof? As we all know, roofs are necessary and expensive. According to a remodeling impact report from the National Association of Realtors, packs the median national cost of an S4 roofing replacement at 7500 So make sure to find out as soon as possible to avoid a costly headache later. Question number nine. What are the prices of nearby homes? You can check out the property price around that area through Zillow, Redfin, or Realtor.com. Or you can ask your agent to help you pull the comparable listing data for the similar homes that are currently on the market and have sold in the last six months for comparison. This can help you 
understand whether the asking price is too high or just right on a target. Question number 10. How's the neighborhood? Ask the seller about the neighborhood or even talk to their neighbors. It is always easy to fix things in the house, but neighborhood is there to stay. You want to find a place that you like and you'll stay for 10, 20, or even 30 years. Your agent can also help you find some information such as community amenities, crime statistics, and school rating. So there you have it, 10 questions that you should ask before buying a house. This is 10 questions out of 15. If you would like to receive complete 15 checklists of questions, click the link below. It's free. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and WeChat for daily new listing posts. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like it, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.